Hi guys, well, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are bringing you a brand new series. And of course, it's something you guys have been asking for for a while, a Stellaris series. Now, the reason why I chose Stellaris, I've been playing a lot of Total War recently, and I just decided to do something completely different. Something, you know, fun. I've been watching Obi-Wan and I thought, how about some Stellaris? And I can't wait to bring this to you with a spicy, spicy origin story. So these guys, the Order of Zahn are a race I've created. They are fanatic spiritualists and xenophilic. Now they believe in their son is the sanctity of all life. It is the life giver of the universe, the son called Zahn. Now they believe that all life is sacrosanct within the universe and that is why they are xenophilic. They are not a supremacist religious order. They are in fact the complete opposite. They believe all life is equal and deserving of um, respect and integrity. So, they are going to be um, a race of assimilators, but assimilators for the greater order of their religion and the greater sacrosanct of all life in the universe. So, let's go through all their traits and all that sort of stuff, and we'll show you everything that's going to happen, including the spicy origin story. So, in terms of this, let's go into edit, and of course, they are the fox people, they grew up on a savannah world, they are the zoom people, and they are the order of zam, zoomy people, should I say. Uh, they're humanoid names. So in terms of their traits, they are rapid breeders to get that pop growth speed and their habitability of 10% because they are adaptive. However, they are decadent. They are a religious order that believes in decadence. And they're not a conservative religious order, guys, because they are deviants, which means governing ethics attraction minus 15%. But the decadent um, is good. The adaptive is there because of our start, which is going to be cool. So their homeworld name is Zanamar, the home of Zahn, and the star name is Zahn, the holy body that they worship. Now, the city, we are reptilian, but their origin, guys, this is where this playthrough is going to be really interesting. It is the Doomsday Origin. This civilization's homeworld is highly unstable, and it's only a matter of time before it explodes. Their only hope is to seek refuge elsewhere before it is too late. So, guys, we are going to be playing a Doomsday scenario. Your homeworld will explode for within 35 to 45 years. Valuable resources, no guaranteed habitable worlds will spawn near your home system. So, it's a challenging origin guys but it's going to be fun we are believing that the uh, that zan has cursed our world because of our xenophobic tendencies to other aliens and that we have changed our xenophobic tendencies into xenophilic ones and we need to go out and explore the world and bring them all into the faith of zan that is how we're going to justify that guys in terms of our ethics we are xenophilic, as we said, and fanatic spiritualists. We're also imperial, so that basically the leader was appointed by Zahn, blessed by the holy light of Zahn to become the leader of the Order of Zahn. Now, a free haven, that's what we're going to do. So pop growth from immigration and immigration pull. So we're going to get as many aliens to our cities as possible. Have the most multicultural society in the whole universe. Although it will be a feudal society where the temple advocates, the clergy rule the roost and everyone else is subservient down below. All in the name of Zahn. Now, the advisor voice, that doesn't really matter. The order of Zahn and the adjective is the Zahnin Empire. The flag, of course, we have gone with the holy light of Zahn spread in the background. Fantastic ship appearance and there's our ruler. So that is everything, guys. We are done with that. So, here we are. We'll just uh, reset everything to default. Apparently, that's not eligible for achievements, but that's fine. We're playing Stellaris. I'm not too bothered about achievements, but I can't wait, guys. This is going to be fun. I might even put that up to large, so we've got a slightly bigger empire. And let's get into the game, guys. It has been a while since I've played Stellaris, so you're going to have to bear with me a little bit. But I just wanted to play it. It's, it's been been a while, and I just it's so fun. And with all the new added... Uh, DLCs. It's it's brilliant. It's really, really good. Um, there is a chance that a few of my other races have uh, uh, have made it into this start as well, which would be interesting because most of them are fanatic militarists. So, <laughs> so that will be fun if that's the uh, if that's the thing. 
Right, so our origin. Xanamar is dying. Our homeworld has been plagued by earthquakes and volcanic eruptions for thousands of years before our scientists finally confirmed the unthinkable. Their calculations showed that our tectonically unstable planet would tear itself apart within a century or two. With no way of halting this process, it was realised that our survival as a species would depend on our ability to leave Xanamar behind and seek refuge elsewhere amongst the stars. An unprecedented industrial and technological build-up followed, and our civilization rapidly progressed from the primitive atmospheric flight to early space travel. The first vessels are capable of hyperspace travel already, but there is not much time. We must find a new home. So here is Xanamar, as we can see, looking stunning, looking beautiful. This game is just beautiful, and there is the holy light of Zan, our god. We shall mine our god until the end of time, of course. Sitran's fortress, Karba's landing, Peragak's freehold, uh, and we have plenty, plenty to do. Now let's have a look at Xanamar. Does it claim that it's going to dis be destroyed? I can't really tell. Um, automation off. No, it doesn't really say anything in here, does it? No, but we have to get all this population off this, uh, off this, off this doomed planet as quick as possible. First things first, guys. Let's get a bit of research in. We go research station outputs actually pretty decent. We don't need anything else other than that. Society research. Oh, we could get that lump sum of unity early on. Uh, society research as well, though, is hard to pass up. But that lump sum of unity early on is going to be strong. And then let's go for Starbase building, Nebula refinery, mining station output. Yes, definitely. Right then. So I don't think there's anything else we want to look at too much. We only have a construction ship. And uh, um, I thought you pressed uh, tab. But you pressed M. Yeah, there we are. I thought you pressed tab to get out of there, guys. But no, you don't. So... Let's uh, build the research stations to start with anyway. And let's uh, get our science ship up and running. There we are. Um, science ship. So have we surveyed our system here? Yes, we have. Of course we have, Xanamar. Where are we in the universe? Actually, a pretty decent spot. As I said, we're in a large universe. There should be 12 other empires around. Right, let us go and search these other systems. Nakam will come over here as well. And then we'll circle back round and hopefully... No, actually, screw that. We need to get to a place to start with. So, survey that first. Then we'll come across here. And here. And back to Nakam. Right, guys, I think that's... Oh, my God, I, I misclicked a couple of times there, guys. Please forgive me. Ah, <laughs> oh, well... Anyway, that's good. Society management, how are we looking at? No traditions yet. That's all good. Edicts. Evacuation protocols. Last until cancelled. Colony development speed. Resettlement cost. That's decent, actually. Veneration of the saints. Uh, fortify the border. I mean, evacuation protocols. That only costs us 12 unity. But we need 12 unity first, obviously. Um, so... We will do that as soon as we can because we need to evacuate our goddamn home planet. The holy site has been breached. Right, guys. Let's get us on the fastest speed. The end is nigh. As earthquakes and volcanic activity on Xanamar continue to increase in frequency and intensity, as scientists are now able to more accurately predict when the end will come. They estimate that we have between 35 to 45 years until the planet detonates. Conditions on the surface will steadily deteriorate until then. The only good news is that the violent tectonic movements have made it easier to access the rich resources on the planet's mantle, increasing our production capacity. Adds 10 devastation, minus 30% habitability, and some more alloys, minerals, and energy credits. Immigration pull, minus 50. Emigration push, plus 100. So, we need to get rid. Okay, we have a new air, which is great. So we need to get out of this place as soon as possible. I'm hoping this is an alpine world of 10, guys. That is not ideal. We need to find a better city ASAP. So we haven't surveyed this system yet, but we will stick an outbase on Saluna. We might be cutting it kind of fine. Okay, discovery of alien life, guys. That's excellent. I will be reading a lot of these messages. 
Um, just because I haven't played it for a while and it gives it more of a real feel. And I love the sci-fi element, I love the writing in this. So the Order of Zahn is abuzz with news of the alien organisms discovered some time ago. Zum theologians have been partaking in arcane rites since this first sign that divine providence extends outside Xanamar, attempting to find new answers. Yes, yeah, fantastic. Consumer goods were going down, but we really don't need them when we're evacuating our, uh, our planet. So let's us greet the Xeno with open arms on our first contact protocol. Just because um, we will, of course, um, be uh, xenophilic. We, we will love the aliens. They are glorious. Right. Let us get into here. And I think we'll go for... Go for adaptability. Let's just pause for a second. You go for adaptability. Uh, how does it look? Habitability. That's really going to help. Resettlement cost reduced by 33%. That's 100% what we're going to go for. So let's get that. Get that in there as soon as possible. And then on our edicts, let's go for evacuation protocols. How can we not? We need to have a colony first, right? That's fine. So, the Vultuum Star Assembly. We have recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on NCC-112. They must have been active in this region of space 12 million years ago. From what we have been able to piece together, our scientists theorize that these aliens, who call themselves the Vultuum Star Assembly, were worm-like annelids, roughly 3 to 4 meters in length, that communicated with each other primarily through vibrations carried along their segmented bodies. Ooh, Situation interesting. Updated. Very interesting, indeed. Ah, intelligent life taunts with pointed absence, reads a popular news net post on Xanamar. The people of the Order of Zahn are apparently finding some humor. Okay, just calm down. Finding some humor in the fact that lower forms of alien life are now a matter of public record, but potential equals from other stars continue to elude us. The report on traces of alien life that were recently found seemingly only add an ironic twist to the situations. We will not research that yet. And let us get to our shipyard and build another science ship and another construction ship. And when we're ready, we'll build a colony ship. Now, our consumer goods are actually going down right now. And we need consumer goods for that colony ship. So, on Zahn, I know it's going to be destroyed. So, it's kind of a bit pointless. But I kind of want a, another one of these. Can we not build another one? Uh, we need some more minerals. We'll wait a little bit for some more minerals and we'll build another one of those consumer goods factories. Awesome. Right, we've got another science ship and we need to get going ASAP. Requires a scientist. Okay, no worries. Busy doing research. We'll need to recruit one. We got anyone? Anomaly research speed, that's good. Research speed, new worlds though, that's better. So let's go for that. You can come this way. Then the other science ship, you have done there now, haven't you? So let's you come around this way. And we really, really... So it's saying there's not a world here and here. So we really kind of need to uh, go into some of these more out there systems. Our construction ship. You, sir, can uh, build a star base. And you, sir, can come over this way when we're ready to build a star base as well. Build the mining stations on here. That's good. So, in terms of the habitability, it's 40%, but it's only size 10. That is a last resort, guys. That really is a last resort. I really don't want to go for that. Now, when we have enough minerals, we will build that consumer factory. We are going back up in consumer goods now, but we need some more than that for our colony ship. I think we need 200. So we might be we might be okay for a little while. So newness doesn't look like it has anything of worth over there either. Please find us a world. Right, the habitable world survey. Of course, we really, really need that. updated. Fantastic. Oh, we have another tradition. Let's go... Uh, System survey complete. Let's just pause for a second. Let's go for resettlement cost. I know it's not exactly needed right now, but it's good to get that in there for when we do need it. So you're going across there. You're building... 
the mining stations, I believe. You can build... Oh, I didn't mean to do this. You can build the star base over here. We're making quite a lot of alloys, which is great. Oh my god! System survey complete. Three worlds, a desert world, a continental world, and an arctic world, all in one spot, guys. Um, that sounds... that sounds good! Which... now, which ship is this? Sigawala? Yeah. It's that one. Okay, you can research that then. We want this one to survey this <laughs> system as quick as possible. Three worlds, guys! That is... now, that is lucky. Please. That is so lucky. That is unbelievably lucky. Uh, so we kind of want to go back this way if we're going towards that. But we will build another star base over here. Get that energy hoovered up. Lost in space. The signal we intercepted was a distress call for a ship in orbit around Sigawala 4A. The ship is not giving off any heat signatures and seems to be drifting. Hmm... Situation. Interesting. Very interesting. Right, let's go for... Let's go for the food production, because that's something that benefits us right now. Good lord. Complete. I can't believe there's three planets there. Ah, we have a... Uh, a gateway over here. A black hole. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Surely we'll be able to get a lot of resources from that. Okay, keep going, guys. You ideally need to be done soon. Complete. As we say, we have an 80% habitability. How big is Zahn, by, by the way? It's got 30 population. It's a 19 size. So, I'm not too sure whether we'll be able to fit everyone on here. But, I think we'll take the continental world as well. We'll, we'll take them both and we'll have two s settlements over there. That'll be awesome. Can't build the star base yet. We're lacking some influence. We need more influence. More and more influence, please, guys. Um, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Stop doing that. Build that mining station. Um, we've not come across anyone else yet. Okay, this is hard. Who has found it? Okay, as long as it's not Sigawala. It's... Uh, who is this? Back Swan. We'll leave that for now. Uh, and where do we find those anomaly stuff again? We go into our ledger, right? Situation log. Yeah. So, precursors. Where are you? Please, show me. We will tell them to research them. They are level both level f 6, which is quite hard for our scientists right now. Okay, you've done that now. That's excellent survey this then survey that and then i tell you what we'll send this okay no don't do that i'll tell you just just do this and once you've done that oh, look at that look at the glorious 3d-ness of this map it's, it's a lovely once you've done that you can go and research those anomalies you've done a good job for us so far we don't have enough unity for this yet that's annoying. Probably precursed it a little bit with the uh, amount of uh, ships. Right, have we got enough minerals? Not quite yet to build some more consumer goods. Because I really would like a colony ship. Lacking 90 minerals. We got a load of alloys. Got a load of alloys. So anything on Zahn we can do. Okay, so it does tell us now Doomsday is coming. It doesn't tell us exactly when, but it is coming. I thought it said kebab then. Keb. Governor Keb. Glorious Keb. What a man. Yeah, not much stability on this world. I mean, it is falling apart. So they do rely on us. Relatively difficult, hellish. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Leave that for now. <laughs> okay, scientists have developed new skills. Fantastic. So as soon as we've got enough influence, which is very soon, one more day, there we are, build that outpost. We need to start building two colony ships if we can. System survey complete. Right, let's go for, I mean, orbital bombardment, that's not going to be hugely important to us now. All our planets gain one building slot is good though, is definitely good. 
anomaly found. This is a really interesting start, guys. I'm, I'm really pleased that we took this start. It's so interesting. You can do that. Um, you would really need you. Some of these systems are a bit trash. They don't have a lot in them, do they? I think the black hole one would be decent. Okay, when you're done, you're going there. When you're done, you can start doing these, these, uh, these anomalies. Right, enigmatic spacefarers. The Order of Zahn has finally encountered fellow wanderers among the stars. Despite their intentions being unknown and potentially even hostile, the atmosphere on Xanamar, following the report from our contact fleet, is best described as rapturous. Fantastic. We are xenophilic after all. Encounter in Favalion. That sounds like an elf name, doesn't it? Like some sort of, uh, you know, Lord of the Rings name, Favalion. We have made first contact with mysterious aliens in the Favalion system. For now, we have codenamed them Zayan Aliens, until we can find out more about them. If they possess a language, we must decipher it in order to establish communications. Okay, okay, they're there, they're there. Interesting. Right, let us assign an envoy to go. Right, get you, Goom. Or you, Jessler, or you, Limithara. I think Goom, that's a good name. Go on, Goom, off you go, my friend. Good luck, good luck. <laughs> okay, so, you're still moving, you're there. Don't want to... Okay, abandoned amusement, spot, amusement park. The structures on Nokam 2 are not as old as we first believed. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science officer, officer Hefanira notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from, and that to the builder's alien eyes, this might have been a cutting-edge sensor array, or even a gigantic art installation. Regardless, to us Zumi, it looks mostly like a place where you would go take your young and let them amuse themselves. Okay, we've gained a lot of research for that, that's great. Um, Alright, let's, uh, let's have a look at this system, by the way, as well. Research complete. Okay, research is complete. Let's research that. We might as well. Uh, new research. Let's go for Edicts Fund. Could go for that. Hydroponics Farm. Let's go for the Edicts Fund. And let's have a look at Trappist. The Trappist system. Cool. Oh, this is awesome. Three planets, all pretty similarly aligned. That's decent. This is a dark red sun. This will have some sort of theocratic, <laughs> theocratic um, significance in our in our minds. Definitely going from the bright light of our sun to the darkness of their red sun. It is the end of days, my friends. It is the end of days. Oh, I just built that. Still not got enough consumer goods. So Zanamar, my friends. We have one unemployed person. That's fine. Let's go for another industrial district. Hopefully get that consumer goods System production up. Complete. Right, now you are done. You can go research these anomalies. Uh, it's going to be hard for you, but it's, it's fine. We've got... Now we've found three planets in one place, guys. We, we, we're kind of relaxed. <laughs> It was horrendous. It was going to be hard. Three planets in one is going to be great. Right, Ascension perks, guys. Ah, we could go for Interstellar Demi uh, Dominion. That's great. We can also go for Consecrated Worlds. Consecrating uninhabited planets increases spiritual spiritualist ethics attraction and empire-wide amenities as well as unity generation. It's pretty good. Like, we could see... We could consecrate, like one of these worlds that we don't want to take. Like, we could consecrate the continental world that's size 16. That might actually be something that we want to do. Um, executive Vigor, Transcendent Learning, Shared Destiny. Ooh, that's quite good, actually, that Shared Destiny. But I do kind of... I mean, monthly unity is really good. Amenities uses... And governing ethics attraction plus 50% is huge. Especially when we have, like we say, we we have 
the uh, the traits that we do makes out minus 10%. That'll just take it out straight away. So I think we go for that. Wow, we could Consecrate Worlds. I think Consecration Worlds next, though. Mi Mastery of Nature. This is a decision that permanently increases the maximum number of districts a planet can support by two. That's great, actually, as well. There's a lot of good things here, guys. There's a lot of good things. And as I say, I'm, I'm a little bit rusty, so... Um, Technological Ascendancy is also amazing. Let's go for... Oh, God, there's so many good ones. Let's go for One Vision. We do have that One Vision. It fits the thematic theme as well. We 100% have our Singular Vision. Okay. We've managed to pick up a clear audio feed of conversations between several Zayan alien ships. While the linguists are still none the wiser as to the meanings of any of the words, they're optimistic that this new signal will help them make significant progress towards a breakthrough. Excellent, excellent. So keep going, keep going, my friends, and we will see them. Right. Well, we will learn how they speak anyway. <laughs> that's, that's one thing. The life forms living on TF866 were nothing like we expected. Our scientists report back that the asteroid has crystal growths. Okay, the crystals themselves are primarily made out of sucrose and could potentially even be edible. I want the research rather than the potential. Oh, okay, we have another world here. A savannah world of 25. Now, that's that's brilliant. That's, that's really, really good. That's incredible, even. So, let's make our way across that way because we do want to build a star base out there. We need more unity. Another... Another first contact event. Although we've been able to discover much about the mysterious vessel in the Favalian system, the most convincing current hypothesis, based upon its behavior and the patterns of the still undecipherable si signals... I can't speak, guys! I can't speak! We have intercepted from it is that it belongs to a previously unknown spacefaring civilization. Thank you. I know. I know. Seven difficulty. It's quite hard. Must have a very bad language for us to uh, decipher. Very complicated one. I have a lot of energy right now. Complete. How long until Xanamar builds that? It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while till we can get that goddamn thing going. I really want that star base over there. Please. A 25 Savannah World will be excellent. So I think we'd even go for that. Riador. And it's a bright-ish star as well. Just look how stunning this game is, guys. Look at that. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, good lord. There's the world. It's got a ring around it as well. It's the halo of Zahn. It is our lord and savior's halo, guys. Fantastic. We found our holy world. 25 size as well. Plenty of space for everyone. And then we'll probably colonize all three of these, honestly. Because, as I say, we want aliens to come to our lands. We want to have a multicultural society of all the aliens from across the world. Across the lands. Right, we have enough now for this construction ship to build over here. Don't have enough for the other one yet. That's fine. Okay, now we're making seven. Seven every month, which is great. We've got another research. Hmm, mining station outputs. We don't need to be doing military stuff just yet, guys. We, we're just trying to escape our own world. <laughs> our own world. First and foremost. Complete. Okay, well, we need to build that construction ship. We have... Yes, we have enough now. Sorry, not construction. Colony ship. Colony ship. Fantastic. Let's get that going. Let's get that going. Uh, and you are now done. So, let's go survey uh, over here. That's probably the best thing we can do. And then we'll survey this little cluster over here as well. A nice little dead end cluster, I think, so it's quite safe, hopefully. And we have another anomaly available in here derelict ship. Yeah, it's only 20 days, so when you're done with that one, we'll Construct get across there. Complete. Fantastic. Really want you to build a star base there, but we don't have enough unity just yet. Other construction ship, is there anything for you to do? Not quite yet. Um, I mean, come over here anyway, we'll get you ready. Oh, fantastic. 25 sized uh, world is going to be excellent. Ruler has gained a trait. Excellent. That's good. So 
So, fantastic. We are the only species that exists right now. First co contact protocol is pending. It seems our linguists have suffered a major setback. Unfortunately, what they had taken to be their language quite simply was not a language. <laughs> nice, Paradox, nice. In his report, Envoy Goom states that either uh, after days of investigating the matter from every angle, the linguist finally conducted that it was in fact probably an attempt at music. Ooh, interesting. Only 30% breakthrough chance. That's... Good lord, it's going to take us a while to, to decipher this goddamn language. Okay, another mining base. So remnants of a small Valtuum Helium-3 mining base have been found at the bottom of a large crater on Bax-1. So that's down there. The blast that created the crater seems to have originated uh, from inside the facility itself. Unless Valtuum mining techniques were radically different from our own, an equipment failure or accident cannot account for such a massive explosion. Situation log Interesting. Updated. Interesting completely. Okay, another anomaly. I will get you to research that, my friend. Yeah, definitely. Enigma's End, strategic resource discovered. During its survey of Enigma's End, the ISS Eskimon the Blue discovers a previously unknown strategic resource dubbed Dark Matter. Yes, we have Dark Matter, guys. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for further exploitation. I mean, we will do. We will 100% do that. Right, our physics research. Okay, of course we're going to take that research speed. Why would we not? Free research speed, always amazing. Oh, that's loud. That is loud in my ears, guys. The noises. A mixture of threatening, booming noises and what sounds like a grinding of metal on metal continued unabated for several minutes, punctuated occasionally by a howling noise that sent a chill through everyone who heard it. Just as Envoy Goom thought the noises had died down, they started up again, louder than before. With a wince, he switched the receiver off. He turned to the gathered crowd of officers, some of whom were cowering behind their seats. Well, that was quite something, he said weakly. It is hard to imagine that a species making the noises we have picked up from the Zayan aliens could be anything other than hostile. Naval officers already fear the worst and assume we'll soon be at war with them. But Karma Heads suggest that we'd better be off waiting and seeing. I mean, like... Shh. Threatening noises back. <laughs> I mean, like... How do we know? They could, they could be making any noises. This is also not us, by the way. But, like, we don't know that they're bad. Like, we don't know that they want to fight us. I mean, they might do, but we don't know that for certain, do we? Right, you. Research projects in this system. Then research projects in this system. And then research projects in this system. So we've got plenty of anomalies, uh, anomalies, anomalies to get to get on with. All right? Do we have enough now? No, we don't. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to build that star base and then we'll end the episode there. But it's it's been fun. It's it's a tough challenge trying to get out of our solar system so quickly. But luckily, we found four worlds relatively close by, which is decent. Um, this one especially is going to be excellent. Twenty five percent, hundred percent habitability for us. But, as I said, we will probably inhabit all of those worlds, or let one become a consecrated world. Alright, let's go for Discovery, probably, next. Let's go Faith in Science, Research Subsidies. I mean, we could also go for Expansion. Yep, that's probably decent. I don't know. There's a lot of good ones here. I don't want Supremacy yet. Could go for Prosperity. I don't think that's going to be great. Harmony. That kind of fits thematically, doesn't it? But I think we go for Expansion. It's it's standard, guys. I know Adaptability and Expansion to start with. A, you know, I, I know that's... Uh... Special project complete. Okay. Most of the data was corrupt, but our scientists did manage to properly translate Korga, the basic Valtuum time unit. Interesting find. Fantastic. So our construction ships are a little bit stuck, not doing much. Can we build this? Yes, fantastic. We can. So let's build that star base and get the colony ship on the way, guys. On the way. This is fantastic. Oh, this is great. 
Until we find an, a hostile alien, anyway. Okay, the Zayan aliens. A ship in orbit around Sigawa 4A was not abandoned. The crew is alive, but not well. Influenced by some sort of brain parasite, they could be easily cured. Of course, we'll help them. Has established communications. Fantastic. Right. Seems that despite some initial doubts, the signals we picked up truly did form their language, which is simply uniquely unpalatable to our ears. Fortunately, we went about investigating it in a measured manner and did respond to what many perceived to be provocation by the Ve Valons, a response which would have surely set us off on a poor start with them. This has vindicated those who had advocated caution. Yes, the Valon autocracy. What? What? You are us! You are us! Bro! Bro! It's literally that Spider-Man meme. These guys are us. Well, they're fanatic authoritarians and xenophiles. I mean, we are delighted to meet you, our same people. All right, so the first alien encounter, guys. The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time is spreading like wildfire throughout the Order of Zahn. Our citizens are fascinated by these beings. I mean, they are basically us. <laughs> So it's fascinating how they came to be. <laughs> Our citizens are fascinated and the media is full of reports and speculation on their culture and society. The revelation that we are not alone in this galaxy has largely been greeted with celebrations on Xanamar. Fantastic. Just like us, yeah, exactly. The aliens appear to be relative newcomers on the galactic stage and their level of technology is similar to our own. Right, fantastic. Communications have been established. Finally, fantastic. That is good. Finally made communications with these boys. Excellent. Okay, more. Krillian. The Krillian Sing Syndicate. They're fanatic materialists and pacifists. Fantastic. New friends. Oh my god, all of them now. New friends brings us one closer to divinity. That's how we would uh, deal with that. Right, let's, uh, let's just pause for a second. We've got a lot of things. Establish embassy, commercial pact, research agreement, non-aggression pact. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with all of those things, honestly. Scientists have gained a trait. Down the drain. The readings originate from a small metal pod. Science officer Strip has determined it to be a lifeboat of ancient and alien make. Evidently caught on the outskirts of the black hole's gravity well eons ago. At an angle just short of a slingshot maneuver. Whether this was the intent or happenstance is difficult to judge, and the pod's automatic thrusters have been fighting its descent to the event horizon ever since. It's now too close to, to the horizon to salvage. Shirut's report ends abruptly, and the crew of the I ISS Iskerman, the Blue, communicate that the science officer appears shaken and deeply troubled by the tragic fate of the lifeboat. Oh no, Shirut gets paranoid. Poor boy. Poor guy, we've made him paranoid as well. Right. Let us get to this world. Let us colonize it. And we have this colony ship ready to go. What are we going to call this world? What about... What about... The Zex... What about Zahn Exodus or something like that? The Exodus of Zahn? I don't know. New... The new Holy Zahn. I don't know. <laughs> Zahn 2. <laughs> The Zahn Holy. Uh, the Holy. I, I, the Holy Zahn. I mean, it's a lifeboat, basically, isn't it? What about Zahn? What about Redemption Zahn? There we are. Redemption Zahn. I think that sounds cool, but I could be completely wrong. So, off you go. Colony ship. Off you go. And then we can evacuate our city. So we want to establish an embassy with the Valian autocracy. Of course. Of course we do. A commercial pact. Yes, we will build our trade up. Though they are all the way over here. Now that's the Krillians. So these guys that are basically us are right next to us. Right, great. Research agreement. Yes. Non-aggression pact. I'll accept that for now. We will maybe... Get rid of that later. Well then, guys, I think that's a nice place to end. Our colony ship is on the way. We've managed to find a few more worlds that we can establish. I'm glad we managed to take Trappist before these guys. 
this system here that's a nice little bottleneck's nice as well. And of course, Trappist is a big bottleneck. And if they ever send troops in there, we will have three planets there ready to shoot them down, which will be good. So good luck them ever taking that settlement. Riador is also nicely on the end of a uh, branch, which is great. So that should be a pretty safe new homeworld. Right then, guys. Well, that is excellent. If you enjoyed this, please do like, please do subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you again on the next video.